And then of course, the third one is this building that we're sitting in, which is Tech Connect. And that was, oof, that was a lot for our little organization that- Huge risk. Huge risk. And and big money in a, in a certain sense from what we were working with typically. But the other complicating factor was it was the first time we really worked with the feds very much like Western mm -hmm. economic develop or diversification at the time was a big driver behind that. Um, and of course, uh, at the time we had the Ianctus, the tech company that we were right. working with on it. So it was a very complex um, contract <laughs> and an agreement. And, uh, and we navigated that and it was stressful uh, for everyone. And, and, you know, they gave us just enough money yeah, it's never what you no, need. It's just, just enough, enough to, to kind of make yeah. you do it, <laughs> and then and then go. What the hell are we doing? But but in the end, you know, when I see what's happened with it and the results, I was uh, asked to be part of the ten year evaluation. I think right. uh, at the yeah. time they did it, when I heard about some of the outcomes, it, it makes you really happy that you can leave something like that. Um, and then I can, I'd be remiss to not talk about the boards and the staff and what it took at that time. I mean, while we were doing all of that, off the side of our desk, we were establishing the organization, going from being a toddler to being a more mature organization with policies and procedures. I mean, we had to, build, years. Love yeah, had to get through <laughs> that, right? Yes, it was adolescence. And then, um, you know, creating processes for things and stuff that would work. And, and so the staff was amazing and the boards were really supportive and, and council city council was really supportive mm. um, because they were all interested in the big picture. You know, everybody okay. was looking at, this isn't about my interests, your interests. It's not about me winning something. It's about how do we make Lethbridge hum and we can pull all of these and partners can together and do something bigger. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's a great segue, actually. You know, you've got, uh, I've got board members in the audience that will see this who are brand new to the board and a number that are coming back for their, you know, next term, which we're mm -hmm. grateful for your service. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for signing up. Yeah. Uh, but what advice would you give to the board in terms of their role and sort of with the, with the hindsight and benefit of a decade at the helm? Mm -hmm. What would you say those board members need to be thinking about? Hmm. I think you have to find ways to foster collaboration and um, and look for some common ground that matters. You know, we can't do everything. It, it, these are still small organizations. Limited um, budget. Yeah. I mean, even when I did the Venn diagram initially, it was to try to get people to realize everything we did had to fall into something because, you know, you get a million requests um, or ideas that come up and it's not that any of them are bad. It's just that you only have so much, so many, much time and resources. But from that, it's also what, what is the um, way that we can bring as many people together to work towards something and, and keep your head up above the, the clouds of the little petty stuff. I think working with industry. So I had a private sector background before mm. I came here. And and I also had public sector because I worked at the college before coming here. And um, one of the things that's different about industry from the public sector is that business people largely set, I'm going to say three goals, maybe five. And they have everybody in the organization working on that. And it's it's clear, it's fast, and they clear the way to get that stuff a done. ruthless focus it, and then it's, rip barriers it, down you just got to stay on that right the public sector has so many stakeholders everybody's trying to keep everybody happy and there's all these balls in the air right. all the time and so stuff is coming at you from a million different directions but when you work with business with industry you have to be able to respond to what they need when they need it and it needs to be quick so you've got to right. be in the mindset of we've got to clear barriers, not create barriers. And and if you can do that by trying to have conversations or collaborate to find ways to make it clearer and faster and more uh, facilitative, 
rather than this is a problem, this is a problem, we don't have this, what do you how, give us this, give us this, right. give us this, right? Um, because you're trying to keep all those stakeholders happy. But by trying to get all that from this entity, or people or whatever, y- you lose them, you only have so much time to get those decisions made. And if you're not able to do it positive positively i mean yeah there's always tension there's always tension with that stuff but but you try to look for that positive way of getting there then you've got to win right and you can you can coalesce yeah. around that yeah right? yeah awesome yeah well there you go you have your marching orders she <laughs> said it and uh we'll talk about it at the rest of this meeting good luck and and you'll enjoy being with this organization it's fantastic and uh you know the other thing I did was I helped them hire Trevor before I left. So that has to be a win. Well, <laughs> I, I would I would say that was your greatest accomplishment. Just kidding. Thank you so much for being with us. It's today. My, my pleasure, Trevor. Awesome. My pleasure.